Today I'm talking about one of the saddest planets in the solar system. It's not Mercury who just lost one of its space probes, Messenger, and is now a bit lonely. A lot of people would say it's Pluto because it got demoted to being a dwarf planet and it hasn't had anyone visiting it yet, although the New Horizons probe is coming to see it this summer. To me, the saddest planet in the solar system is Uranus. And it's probably exactly for that reason. You're probably laughing at it right now. You're probably giggling at it and making up silly jokes about it. Uranus is actually a really cool planet and it's completely the underdog of our solar system. Because people always make jokes around it constantly, it actually could be keeping kids from asking questions about the planet. It could keep people from studying the planet. It might mean people avoid learning anything about the planet at all because they can't get around the giggle factor. A lot of people think that since it doesn't have anything like craters to look at or amazing clouds like on Jupiter, that it's a fairly boring planet. And this is just so heartbreaking. While people are busy giggling about it, laughing at it, and making fun of this poor little planet, or I guess in this case, a large planet, it's really freaking cool. It actually is a sideways planet, meaning that its actual equator is perpendicular to its orbit. So it actually rotates on its side in a sense. And this makes Uranus actually really unique. People have theorized that this is probably due to a collision with another planet at some point in its lifetime, but that hasn't been confirmed just yet. What's also freaking cool about Uranus is that it's an ice giant. 80% of the materials on Uranus are actually made up of icy materials. So Uranus is able to actually achieve the coldest temperature of a planet in the solar system at negative 224 degrees Celsius. Perhaps the coolest thing about Uranus is that it has a moon named Ariel, duh. I mean, how much cooler can you be than that? Well, I guess you could also have 27 moons total, and some of those moons have ice canyons, and that's pretty freaking cool as well. The thing that breaks my heart about people laughing at Uranus or calling it boring is that we're actually still discovering amazing things about it. In 1977, we discovered that Uranus actually has a ring structure around it. Perhaps even more exciting, in 2012, the Keck telescope actually was able to discover that Uranus, while it looks like a featureless planet, is anything but. When we actually look at the planet in near infrared, we can actually see clouds and storms and all this exciting activity. In fact, in 2014, we were able to discover that Uranus was having a massive storm on the surface, and we don't know exactly what's causing it. So hopefully some of you are space geeks like me and your hearts go out to Uranus because it's actually a really cool planet that people avoid learning about just because they want to giggle about it instead. While it's a lot of fun to make fun of space things and I totally get it in some weird middle school way, I wish more people would actually take a chance and actually learn more about this really awesome planet because we're still discovering amazing things about it and I think it deserves our love. Speaking of needing our love, feel free to go to the Patreon campaign to support space pods like this one and also subscribe on YouTube and leave a comment and um, I guess I'll see you guys next week.